Our vision for STEM at Penrose is that the girls are engaged, excited and challenged by STEM activities. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. Because that's three and that's seven. And it gives us the opportunity for extension. I'm Rebecca Carlay. I joined the Maths Mentor Program because I really love and I really enjoy maths. It was a great extension program so I thought I'd give it a go. The Maths Mentor Program let anybody who was able to get a little bit more extension, do work that was perhaps beyond their years so that we were able to learn more than just the basics and really understand what was going on. There are two parts of it. We take girls out of class. We also have an after school section of it as well. The amazing thing about Maths Mentor is that maths has become cool. We were quite surprised about that even at times. It's much easier to learn these skills at an early age and I've come back to hopefully impart my knowledge and help the girls develop these skills that will help them in their careers to come. We have Dr Dor visiting us. He comes to teach us more advanced maths. He shows us all the different types of things that he's learnt himself and he's taught his students, which is a really amazing opportunity for all of us. It's wonderful. I love it because I love maths myself. And my belief in the students to be able to go much further than they ever thought they could. In the normal maths and sciences, we get our basic biology, chemistry, but with the STEM program, we're able to see how that's applied. We're able to see the detail and different career paths and where it could actually take us. Hi, my name is Sarah Shipman, and I'm in year six, and we're going to learn how to use Lego robotics. The program for these students today is to construct a model car. They will then hopefully go on to actually turning that into a robot where they program or code the robot to complete some operations. The beauty of robotics is that they're not only learning to program, but they're also given the opportunity to manipulate and create and design and make mistakes and go back to the drawing board. We've made like the platform, we've put the wheels underneath and we've got this little generator and it can actually make the wheel move and so it can move forwards. Some of the skills that we're looking relate to 21st century learning using ICT, collaboration. You'll see the students thinking so carefully about the challenges that they have before them. Look at the 3D we are the T of STEM, which is the technology subjects, and it incorporates lots of mathematical concepts so that you can do lots of the programming and scale and size when we're doing 3D printing. So we've already learnt like a range of skills over the course of this year. So we've been using um, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, we've used Microsoft Excel. You said me. The reason we're all dressed up is because it's language week this week. The really good things we're doing at the moment is some coding where they use 3D animation software and 3D modelling software to be able to design some things and print out on the 3D printer. I feel like AIT is a subject that I'll be able to use like in real life when I graduate because it's really relevant to technology which is emerging in the future. Hi, my name is Rebecca Wormsley and I'm part of the Penrose Profs at Perkins program. Does anybody remember where these cells come from? At Harry Perkins we learn what real biomedical researchers do and then we become biomedical researchers. It's really cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed being able to go around and look at what real scientists were doing. I'll go into like look at the centrifuges and where they work every day and, and looking at the equipment they use. It was just really interesting to see what real scientists do. My name is Alex Crow and I'm attending the space camp and the STEM tour in 2016 in USA. For the space camp, we're going to America, which will be really fun, and we're going to quite a few places there. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for our girls to really immerse themselves in all things to do with space. I think one of the best activities that the girls will take part in next year at the space tour will be the advanced space program, whereby they actually get to pretend to be an astronaut or a mission specialist or a pilot, and they get to hear firsthand what it's like to be in space. Lots of Penrose things are like sport and stuff, which is not really my thing, but I like how it also offers like other courses. They also get to meet various engineers at Universal Studios, see how they work, how they design rides, how 
how they design their attractions and may even encourage or inspire the girls to take on one of these roles later on in life. We know that girls have a strong aptitude for the STEM areas of science, maths, engineering and technology and we want to capitalise on that in an all-girl environment. 